How's it going everybody, the trickster here and in today's video I'm gonna go over the best build and practices for an early game player on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Remember, if you like the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me a lot. Anyway, let's get right into it. Early game Assassin's Creed Odyssey can be quite the struggle, all the way from acquiring materials to upgrading your gear with those materials. So even spending those additional materials on upgrading your boat to overall learning the mechanics of the game. On top of that, learning the new system that is playing with three different playstyles, Hunter, Warrior and Assassin. Like, I'm for sure I know what I'm talking about uh, since I made previous videos and helped out some people. And I also help out my friend a lot which increased his damage incredibly from like thousands to ten thousands. So. I hope this will be helpful. This is really, really early game. This is about like level 10, 11, 15, something like that. So this can be a hard choice to make considering most of the gear you get is random and you don't have enough materials to buy the specialized gear. All of that is okay. And I'm here to tell you that being messy in early part of the game is better and being open to playing multiple styles or turning your play style to the gear, you can get easier. <sighs> It can make you better at the game and give you a good assortment of gear that you can pick and choose from later in the game. When you begin to make more specialized builds, it's important to open up being somewhat of jack of all trades until you get the right gear that actually boosts your damage for a specific playstyle. You wanna find a piece of gear that has warrior main perk plus the damage boost for that weapon. For example, if it's a sword, you wanna find a piece of gear that at least has warrior damage and damage with swords on it. The reason for this is that the early game, the damage boost from damage with weapons is as high as 5% on the earliest perk levels. That's well and all. Other damage outputs like all damage or elemental damage is also to be added. Let me explain. Having a solid go-to melee weapon even as hunter or assassin type can be the difference between winning or losing a conquest battle. And again, conquest battles are a great place to get gear, so you wanna be able to clear them relatively easily. And another thing, it's really easy to find weapons that are rare. And like, what you want is rare. Even if it's rare, you can get them as early as California. California, yeah, California, sorry. It was California. And hold on to them until you get a better epic or legendary weapon. The second thing you want to focus on is elemental damage. As an engraving or as a perk. Or what can I say? Wait. My preference is fire. But you can pick poison if you like it. So don't worry if it's about you're playing assassin more or hunter more. Or even your warrior more. Just focus on getting fire damage on all of your weapons, bows, head and feet, or if you're choosing poison damage on all your weapons, chest and, like I mentioned, feet and bracers and everything. Keep forgetting the names, I should have wrote this down. After doing this, as early as level 10, 11, you can begin to use the poison or fire abilities in your ability tree and immediately start doing an additional minimum 20% additional damage because the lowest damage value both fire and poison can have on a gear is 4% it only gets higher every 10 levels once you've chosen to use fire or poison when you when you do this when you put everything on your gear as fire additional fire damage or poison damage you'll be able to deal more damage with that and on top of that unlocking them and make them upgrade from the three you'll be, be dealing more damage as well and every time you attack with your bow or sword or spear, whatever is the weapon you use, you'll be dealing more damage and you'll be able to move around easier. As a bow, I recommend you use the bighorn bow because it's glitch, it will just increase your damage. So why don't you use it? You can get it as a helix point. I am not sure when did I get it, but I got it really early. So. That's why I'm telling you to get the big horn bow if you can get it with your free helix points. If you're using cracked, it's just free anyway. So I hope this guide was useful. And when you learn more as you level up, you'll be able to upgrade your weapons. And if you're even higher than level 10, 20, maybe you're level 30, something, watch my other guides. It will be more helpful. 
Anyway, have a nice day and don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay awesome, guys.